Joining me now to discuss and help us out here, Money Map Press Chief Investment Strategist Shaw Galani. We got Key Advisors Group CEO Eddie Gabor, along with Wealth Enhancement Group but Senior Vice President Nicole Webb. Uh, Eddie, uh, let me let me start with you uh, because you've been bearish and you've told folks to stand on sidelines. You've been 100% right. This July move, though, did you think maybe this might be more than just a bounce? Look, Charles, I mean, we're human beings, so you always second guess at times when you see these rallies. But look, I learned a valuable lesson managing money during the tech bubble burst of 2000. And that's don't get sucked into these bear bounces. And back then, the bear bounces were twice as big as what we've seen so far today. So I'm focusing on the fundamentals as the reason why we continue to be bearish and think this is a bounce is, number one, the Fed is not dovish. They say they're going to try to get inflation at a two and a half to three and a half percent. In my opinion, the only way that happens is by causing a recession. And this market has not priced in a recession. Secondly, the dollar is going to strengthen as a tighten, which is bad for multinationals. Right. Real estate is starting to show signs as well, too, is rolling over, which isn't good. And lastly, the consumer. Inflation has come to a head and consumer spending is going to continue to go down. And I think you're going to see earnings continue to guide down. So I'm being patient here. I may be wrong, but I think we're going to have another leg down, and that's when we'll be big buyers in the fourth quarter. I got to tell you, Eddie, you look very young, my man. I thought you were playing Little League Baseball in 2000. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> hey, Eddie, uh, real quick, I got less than a minute to go, but I do want to ask, uh, since you've been standing off a little bit here, are you, are you reloading on the downside? Are you going long short here? Are you buying puts here? No, we don't do the options mark game with our clients. You know, we've just basically been raising cash. So earlier in the year, we rotated into lower beta names. That was our way of hedging. Uh, but as we got into the second quarter, we raised a lot of cash. We're sitting in the highest cash position we've had all year for clients because I do think we're going to have some really great buying opportunities for these great companies that you mentioned. But again, I think the S&P goes down to 30 percent on a year to date basis before we bottom. And I think that'll be somewhere in the fourth quarter time period when this economy surprises to the downside when we look at the rate of change of things they're unfortunately going in the wrong direction and the fed is not going to be able to save us the fed is not going to save us in this instance and a pivot define a pivot is that just stopping to raise rates because there's a difference between that and cutting rates and i think we're a long ways away from cutting rates shaw eddie nicole thank you all very much this is a real real anxious uh, period for everyone <laughs>